Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to share with you all why I never ever diet whatsoever to actually help me get a lower body fat percentage whilst also increasing my muscle mass at the same time because that's my goals. That may not be your goals. You may be just looking to lose excess body fat. But yeah, I have been into fitness for years and years and years and healthy eating and just a healthy lifestyle overall. And when I was transforming my body within a one year period where I gained over 10 kilos of muscle within a year period and I was actually a skinny fat person so I had excess body fat to lose and yeah I had muscle atrophy and muscle to gain and if you haven't seen that video I'll put a link for it up above I highly recommend that you go check that out I hope that it inspires you and motivates you to push yourself to gain and maintain the body that you desire and make sure that you do all the things consistently with discipline to get the results and yeah that is exactly why I don't recommend dieting because it's hard to be disciplined and stick with it and you get so many people that go on these severe calorie restricting diets which are called yo-yo diets where they go on them they restrict calories for ages and then they lose some weight but then they find it hard to maintain and then they go and binge and they gain all the weight back and a lot of time additional weight and then they beat themselves up mentally and emotionally and it's just not good for you psychologically at all and yeah I have just found when I've tried to do that in the past which I had various times early on in my life as a teenager and later on in my adult years is that yeah trying to sustain it long term is just not possible and there's so many different types of calorie restriction diets out there and yeah they don't really care about giving you weight loss results that you can sustain long term. They're just in it to make a quick buck from you and sell their books and their products and so forth. And yeah, how many people actually keep the weight off with what they're recommending? Like hardly anyone. And I also remember my dad as well has been into fitness for tens and tens of years. And he would go on all these different types of calorie restricting diets and he'd tell me about his stories with it and then he'd say like for example he'd calorie restrict all week or for longer periods of time and then he'd just go on an absolute binge where he would just eat so much fast food and even vomit at times so yeah it's a recipe for causing eating disasters as well such as anorexia and bulimia and yeah it is just a recipe for disaster and I know I promote eating one meal a day and I do call it the OMAD diet or the one meal a day diet but for me, it is a lifestyle. It's not some fad diet because I get some people say, oh, can I just go on this short term, lose a load of weight and then go back to eating multiple meals a day? And I'm like, it's not what it's about at all. If you want to do that, you can do that. But with anything, with what results that you want to get, whether it's with your fitness, your body, or the amount of money that you want to earn or anything in life, it's not about just a quick fix and getting things like really really fast it's about putting in the hard work and having that burning desire to keep pushing you forward even through the hard times where you want to give up and quit but you keep moving forward even if you fail you pick yourself up again and again and again and you just keep trying and trying and trying and trying and no matter how many times that you fall back down you just keep picking yourself up and in the end you do succeed and anyone that does succeed with something say like getting the body that they want and they work on it for months or years. There's quite a few people, and the people I'd like to talk about specifically is famous actors. A lot of them, when they get a role in a certain film, they would do loads of intense training and calorie restriction and other various things to get the body they need to, to have the ideal body for the role that they're playing in the film. And then a lot of them, when the film ends, they just go on a crazy binge and gain all the weight back, and it's just seen to happen time and time again. So they do this yo-yoing. They do this extreme dieting and then they end up relapsing and it's back and forth. And you see this with so many bodybuilders as well, actually, in the bodybuilding movement. So many of them do what is known as bulking, not do like dirty bulking, where they eat a surplus of calories from any sources they want and they gain additional weight and they're doing it to gain more muscle, but at the same time they gain a lot of water weight and a lot of fat as well. And then they do that for a while and then they go on a cutting diet where they're doing calorie restriction 
they really reduce their calories massively, they reduce their body fat significantly, well the body fat percentage, the water retention, and they go round in these circles, bulking, cutting, bulking, cutting. But I do what is known as lean bulking. So I'm eating in a way with my one meal a day diet on a plant-based diet where it keeps my body fat percentage low all year round, around seven to eight percent. And then at the same time, I'm also increasing my muscle mass. And it's so easy for me to sustain. A lot of people may think one meal a day is hard, but all I do is eat the amount of calories that I normally eat within one day, within one meal. And I can eat a lot of food in one sitting. I've been able to for a very, very long time. And I find for me, it stops me rebounding and relapsing with these extreme restriction diets. And I always just found when I was trying to do them, I was just hungry almost all of the time and thinking about food and obsessing over food. And even on one of the diets I did, I ended up with orthorexia, which is a type of eating disorder. And I ended up having for the first time in my life like food addictions and food obsession disorders as well. And it was really not good for me psychologically. And I was just all over the place and my diet was changing all the time and it was just from one extreme to the other. And yeah, it didn't last very long for me whatsoever. And then I found intermittent fasting. I went from two meals a day to one meal a day. I was in two meals a day for around a year. And then I did one meal a day, which I'm still doing now for around eight months. And yeah, I found out of any different way of eating out there, this has been the easiest one for me to sustain, which a lot of people may be shocked by that. They think, well, you're only eating one meal a day. Surely your cravings, your hunger just goes through the roof because you're restricting the meal frequency. But the thing is, no, because I'm not restricting my calories at the same time. If I was restricting my calories with one meal a day combined, then I would think about food all day long because I would definitely not be getting enough of the fuel that I need from the food sources that I'm eating. So yeah, I highly recommend either two meals a day or one meal a day to anyone out there that wants to get the best weight loss results and sustain them long term. And I found that it's made it easier for me to stick to a healthy eating plan on a plant-based vegan diet. And I really enjoy the food way more when I come to eating it because obviously I haven't eaten normally for around 23 to 25 hours a day. And when I come to eat, my taste buds seem to taste food a lot more strongly. I enjoy it way more, I appreciate it way more. And it also just has a whole host of benefits throughout my whole day. I focus less upon a food and more upon the things that I want to achieve in life and just optimize my time uh, on the other things that I want to do in life. And it helps increase my energy levels, it improves my cognitive function, my mental health, my emotional health. It's just absolutely amazing. And for someone that is new, to like intermittent fasting and one meal a day, you don't know much about it. You may be thinking, well, why does it work so well for fat loss? And I always call it the ultimate weight loss hack, whether it's two meals a day or one meal a day. One meal a day would give you the quicker weight loss benefits because the longer you fast, the greater benefits you get while in that intermittent fasted state. So it's shown in scientific research in men to increase testosterone levels by about 200 to 400% and in females around 130%. Human growth hormone production in females goes up about by 1,300% and around 2,000% in men. It also makes insulin go really low, which insulin is your fat storage hormone. And every time you're eating most foods, insulin goes up. And then your body is able to then store food as a fat source and create fat on your body, which you do not want at all. And when that happens as well, glucagon production switches off. Whilst you're eating that food and your insulin's gone up, but in the intermittent fasting state, the insulin stays low, glucagon production goes up, and glucagon is a protein that actually allows your body to go into the fat burning state and burn its own body fat as fuel. So due to those benefits and various other different ones, that is why it's so effective for burning your excess body fat as fuel. Because once you burn through all of like the glucose in your body and the other fuel sources from food that you've been eating, which takes around six to eight hours, it's gonna vary from person to person, depending on many different things, what your stress levels have been, how much you slept, how much you've been exercising whilst in the intermittent fasting state after the last meal that you've ate the previous day. But yeah, after that time period, 
your body will start using the body fat as fuel. So a lot of people say they're starving or you're starving when doing fasting, but you're not. For me to actually be starving, I'd need to run for around two weeks with not eating at all to actually burn off all my body fat percentage and I have around seven to eight percent. So yeah, and what you'll find is at first when you get into this, it may be hard to do, but after about two weeks of doing it consistently, your body becomes very efficient and fat adapted at burning its own body fat as fuel. So then you can feel really good when doing it. And if you're someone that wants to learn about how to do like the 16-8 intermittent fasting method where you eat for around 16 hours a day and eat for around an eight hour window, I put a link for a video up above where I talk about that in more detail and how you can do it to get some serious weight loss benefits. And if you're someone that wants to get onto one meal a day instead of two meals a day, I put a link up above for my video called How to Eat One Meal a Day where I explain how you can do that and sustain it long term and get it to work the best for you. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below as always. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. Please share this video with anyone that you think would like to hear about what I shared with you today in relation to why I do not diet at all to help me have a low body fat percentage and keep off any excess body fat that I do not want. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me if you subscribe is videos on intermittent fasting, one meal a day, calisthenics, workout and progression videos and many other different videos to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body side, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. And make sure if you want to be notified of when they're uploaded, which have new ones coming almost every single day, that when you click that subscribe button, you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.